So today's tip is reward. Reward yourself. Okay, reward yourself. So this is like see definitely you have nineteen subjects to study in a matter of twelve months, but you have to revise minimum five times. That means five into nineteen. That means you have around forty-five, ninety-five times you have to study these subjects. Ninety-five. It's like ninety-five subjects actually. So that only tells that every day you have to spend at least four to six hours to study. Then only you can complete the ninety-five subjects. Okay. So this is how we have to calculate. Never ever calculate. It has just nineteen subjects because whenever you study, you will keep forgetting also so many things. Okay. So now, actually speaking, we don't have time. We have to rush up with so many things actually. Fine. So what is this reward yourself program? See, it is like nineteen into five equal to ninety five. This ninety five appears like a big rock, and imagine you are here, and it is going to fall on you. So now, what should be your attitude is break this ninety five subjects into small small pieces. Okay, that is when you are. I mean, uh, when you are studying itself. Just break it into today. My job is to complete auto points. I'll do that today itself. Estimates, anti-estimates, all those things. Okay, so like that only you have to channelize. Okay, so you have to channelize in that way only. So what basically you have to do is when you are dividing all those things, when you are dividing your entire, I mean your curriculum into small pieces. Imagine today. You have read auto coins, and you have finished it today itself. After listening to the class, the system in part at least if you are finishing, reward yourself. You can, if you want, you can watch a small uh, what to say web series, or you can uh, what to say feel good. You can watch some videos, or uh, what to say you can just, I mean, whatever way you want. It might be a what to say. Nice thing which you can eat, or something nice which makes you feel good, or your interesting hobby that makes you feel good. Reward yourself like that. So it is like you have made a small target. You make a small target. Now you have achieved it. Then you get a reward. This system, what the system is going to do is. It is going to motivate you. Let us uh, consider in this way. So last week, general pathology, all these things. So basically, your next week offline paper is going to be inflammation and NSI, autocoids, all those things only. It will be in depth actually. It will test your uh, remembering capacity because in this, when you are dealing with drugs itself, you have to remember a lot. Okay, otherwise. It's going to be waste. You have to know the names actually. You have to know the small small classifications so that you can answer it very easily. And for this drug, this disease, and this drug can act in many diseases. For one disease, so many drugs like that and all you have to remember. Okay, if I take a beta blocker, beta blocker can be given in thyroid. Beta blocker can be given in uh, hypertension. Beta blocker can be given in uh, what is it? Any other uses of beta blocker? Anybody knows? Your propanolol. It can be used as to reduce the adrenaline rush. It can act like a agent which just reduces your sympathetic system itself. Your sympathetic stimulation. Such a wonderful drug. On the other hand, beta blocker should not be given in your asthma. Beta blocker should not be given in hypotension. 
beta blocker should be avoided in diabetic individuals all those things are also there on the other end so you have to know one beta blocker for many diseases where all i should not give but if you see hypertension there is al- i mean uh, alpha blocker beta blocker calcium channel blocker like that so many things are there so one disease many drugs one drug given for many diseases like that and all you have to remember okay so imagine you are preparing this week nicely <clears throat> everything possible from pulse everything possible from the videos you are preparing you are coming to the test imagine you set up a target okay the test will be for 100 questions usually or sometimes 120 questions and sometimes in between 100 and 10 based on the weightage of the particular sub- chapter or subject we do it so if it is the case reward yourself imagine set your target okay i will answer more than 60 questions correct give your reward or i mean keep small small things that's what i am again telling keep small small target 50% more than 50% right good achievement actually the maximum score by anyone is going to be around 60 to 70% only okay in that that is the first step you have kept more than 50 is a very good step actually so keep small small targets achieve it feel good reward yourself so that you will be motivated to the next part this is all based on the theory of skinner skinner's bf skinner's theory so what did they do they took a dow the dow hit on was kept two buttons one green button one red button whenever the dow hit on the green button it got a grain okay grain to eat whenever it hit on the red button nothing happened it didn't get any punishment again i am telling when it hit on the red button it didn't get any punishment it is like you people only you study you are going to get a reward you don't study nobody is going to punish you here because there is no mark for your degree and all based on this exam same thing only so you hit on the green button take a small reward enjoy it so that always you try to hit on the green button i can understand this one year you had a slogged and studied for four years with a lot of tension you would have cleared your uh, bds now one year you would have all thought of enjoying all these things are there but i'm really telling you invest this time properly next three years again you will be in a college in a good college whatever it is you will be in a college enjoying college life you won't miss that thing if at all you don't do anything now and just enjoy another one year you will be at home only thinking of which college to join or how much to spend or how to prepare next year anyways the preparation is going to happen if you want to join in a college again so at least do it now okay that will save one more year and it will keep you in a college always continuity will be there being in a college enjoy 8 years college life and then get to work once you have started to work you won't get lot of enjoyment and all it is quite difficult for doctors like us to settle so better enjoy continuous 8 years get into work that is that is a very big reward actually continuing college life without a break okay so again i am telling reward yourself motivate motivation arises from there okay that's it for as a tip